Hey, what's up? That's right. Welcome to the What More Can I Say podcast interview series. And we got a good friend of the show, man. Uh, and, and we got it. We got to give him a, a warm applause. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, Woo! Jazzy Faye. What's up, boy? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey. hey. <laughs> Jackie Fitzgerald Burgundy, Obama Luther King, Jr. Jackson Fire the first, you dig? <laughs> my, brother, my brother. First of all, man, how, how you doing, man? What's going on? I mean, it's COVID times, bro. And, and you living in, in COVID Central where y'all act like y'all don't even know it's real down there, man. What's ain't, up? Ain't no, ain't, ain't no y'all, Pippin. I, I ain't out there. <laughs> I ain't out, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing my crowd super wisely. That's right. I am not hanging out with, with the club crowd. <laughs> I, I, I know them all. And you know what? I even drive by and, and wave at them sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't going in. <laughs> Jazzy ain't playing with the Rona. Yeah. I ain't playing with the Rona, Jack. <laughs> I ain't playing with it. It's crazy down there, man. Let, you, we we got to ask uh, the, the Jeezy and Gucci Man battle. Did you enjoy that, bro? Man, that was that, that shit was like. Um, uh, had you on on edge, <laughs> hilarious. Come on, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, un so unpredictable. Yeah, that, that was crazy. <laughs> I'm, pr I'm proud of Young. No, I'm proud of Jeezy. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm proud of both of them, man. They they really um, they you know you know uh, as for me you know I, I'm the one that that really walked Jeezy into his his Def Jam deal. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We, I don't know this story. We don't know this story. Talk to us, bro. Come on. I yeah, because, yeah, you don't know this story. The, yeah, because the Jazzy Faye documentary ain't came yet. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> but see, they wanted they wanted to they wanted to to put the information on um what was it? Unsung. And I was like, this ain't the proper platform. There ain't enough time. Yeah. Cause I mean, you unsung, you gotta talk about Jazzy Faye. So like just one of my segments gonna last the whole show. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. That right. people don't really know. I mean, how? Because I would say Atlanta people do, but a lot of people, I would say, just general public doesn't know how how involved you are in the music scene, how involved you were in the music scene, and still are to this day with right. the sound that came out of Atlanta. Uh, it, it, how Atlanta dominates music. Let, let's 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 talk about. It. Let's get let's go into it before we. Um, really get into some more what's what's happening with you now. Let's talk about some of the stuff, man, that starts to Jazzy Faye, man. Cause I mean, you really responsible for, for original sound that came out of Atlanta. Yeah, I mean, like help is is actually the right word. Cause it, I mean, it's, it's really a a um, a collective effort. You know what I mean? Um, when I walked in, it was, uh, I came to Atlanta in like, you know, Southern playlistic Cadillac music. I moved to Atlanta mm -hmm. from Memphis, Tennessee because um, I felt like organized noise crafted that sound that I wanted to be, you know, coexisting with. You know what I'm saying? When I first mm -hmm. heard Outkast, I thought they was from my town. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it was just player's ball. It was just a, it was yeah. a Christmas song. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I know it was a Christmas song, right? Yeah, I do. It was on the Little Face Christmas album. Yeah. <laughs> And, and like those bleeps that you hear is like Christmas stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause when right. I was at, on that air day, it used to be on that Christmas day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't know it was a Christmas record, but um, it, it became a big hit of course. But when I heard the whole album and I heard the sound and I heard the goody mob and I heard just the, the whole crew, I was like, okay, now, now, I, now I got some, now I got some, some direction. Cause mm. in Atlanta, I mean, in Memphis, it was kind of like, you know, it was on, you know, three six mafia, and you know what I'm saying. We, we love that too in the club, but right. I needed something that I could really connect with. You know what I mean? As far as my vibe and where I was trying to go, sound wise, that soul was my thing. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's that. That's when you, you know, fast forward to stuff like Lil John, and I don't know if you heard Shawty Freak a little song with Lil, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. with Lil John. Yeah, uh, uh, the first record I did with Lil John and and, and Tomp, DJ Tomp actually did that beat, mm. and um, it, it really really started a sound. And then of course when I made my first hit, my real hit, uh, uh, Show Enough, with Teal and A Ball and MJG. 
There it is. Girls in the club show number. Oh. That ass in the club, nigga. What? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Then right after that, I made another record. Tired of balling. I'm so tired of balling. Yeah. I mean, those records were so big that I had to move. <laughs> I had moved to Atlanta. I had to leave Atlanta for a while, and I moved to Texas. Mm. Mm. I actually moved to Houston. I moved to Houston why, why, you move? why did you have to move, though? See, now the reason why I had to move to Houston is also the reason why a lot of the Houston cats, a lot of people to see Houston people, and they they like like people like Slim Thug and wonder why he's so rich. You know what I'm saying? It's because if you live in Houston and you go, okay, from Atlanta to Decatur or Atlanta to College Park, or Atlanta to Marietta. Like if you have a I can have a party, like say Young Thug could do a do a party here tonight, mm. and tomorrow he could do one in Decatur and it'd be a whole different crowd. Crazy, they stay, right. they stay in their part of town. They don't be like, we coming over there to the party. They like, no, nah, when they come to our city. Ah, so you, you feel touring, what I'm saying? You touring yeah. in Texas, basically. You could yes, tour touring in Texas. Texas. So yeah. I mean, what happened was they kept calling me back every week, like to do three, four shows. Like, why are we doing three shows in Texas? <laughs> they was like, okay, Friday, then Saturday, then Sunday, we got such and such. And then on Tuesday, we got something in Beaumont, Texas. I'm like, man, I'm going, man, I'm just coming to Texas, bro. Yeah. You, okay. Because we're so on fire. Yeah. So once you do a mixtape, you put out a mixtape, right? You put out a mixtape. By the time you end up, Catching all the cities on your mixtape run, it's time to do another mixtape. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. I, you know, we just had our WGCI Music yeah. Summit, uh, and I, I, I want I want the artists, especially to watch it. Jazzy's gonna tell uh, drop a lot of gems, like he just did. So make sure y'all keep listening, cause he's gonna drop a lot of music gems. This is a brother that's been super successful. Kiki, I know you got something. What's up? Yes, you know I've been waiting to talk to you, Jazzy, because <laughs> I have first of all so many things to thank you for, honey. Cause goodies alone, okay, Ooh. goodies <laughs> alone, you know, made my childhood. That see, <laughs> you know, that whole movement, like. I got to ask you, when you got on the call today, you said you found Jeezy. We know you you gave us Sierra. What do you look for in the star? I, I, I just say it? I found Jeezy. That's, that's different. I just brought him to Def Jam. Okay. Oh, but you got him that first deal. Yeah. Okay. Right. I, I, I know the story. You had L.A. You played the song for L.A. Hold on. Uh -huh. Somebody call on my phone. Jeezy calling. <laughs> 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 but nah, I know that you, you know, you've had so many people's careers and their first big breaks and hits. What do yes. you look for in stars? Because you're still putting them out today, like. Um, what I look for in stars is what about you makes people want to be like you? Mm -hmm. What makes somebody want to know what you ate for breakfast or what you did for lunch or what you, what you, where you shop or, 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 or just the it factor. Right. Oh, uh -huh. who lights up the room? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know that person, like, the party is cool, but when that person comes in, it's like, ah! Oh! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And of course, you know, you have those people just that don't really have a necessary talent in the music business or anything. They mm -hmm. just have a glow. Yeah. And you be like, I don't know what it is about you, but, you know what I mean? And a lot mm -hmm. of those people now have podcasts. And, and mm. stuff like that. Like y'all are stars <laughs> in, in your own right. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody saw something about you to say, oh, I gotta get them. Yeah. And then yeah. that'll be the show. That's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> everybody has their play in the in the um in, in the show and, and, and it's dope, you know what I mean? That every podcast gotta have a woman. Come on. You know what right. I'm saying? Tell yeah. right. Tell you got, you got That's to the star right there, Key. There's a, <laughs> Jazz, you talking to the star of the show right there, man. Hey, yeah, and yeah, I'm just is. saying, even if she wasn't a star, <laughs> you, you, still have, you would have to have one. Yeah. You, you know, yes. you, it, yeah. To offset it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, got, you got Angela Yee, you got, you know, Charlemagne, you got, you know. And, yeah. and they all have, you know, they don't, nobody steps on each other's toes and, and right. you know, in, in, their, right. in their thing, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their thing. That's right. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Zach, Zach, what you got going on, man? 
man, I've been quiet because I'm I'm in I'm in awe right now, man. Because right. let me tell you something. When you when you hear that fizzle, 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 you know it's a hit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> when you when you when you hear that, like, you know, that little piano run that you do, I mean, you know, you know that you listening to a quality record. You know it's getting ready to go I up. Hate that, brother. And and you have and you have so many records like that. And man. you know, uh Tone touched on the versus battle. And you know, the versus battle started off with like it was like producers going against each other. Wasn't it like Lil John versus uh, Manny Fresh or something like that? Lil John it, versus T Pain, I think. Pain. Timberland, Pain. Manny, Fr Manny Fresh and Scott Storch when they when they when it gets each other. But yeah, I think, yeah, Scott. Storch, I think they're gonna the redo Manny Fresh and do something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, Manny be Jersey Fresh. Hey, and that's what I was gonna ask you. Who, who I would, you, who would you like to go up against? Woo, you want I Manny? I'll, I'll challenge. I'll challenge Fresh. Mm. Okay, I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. Yeah. I like that one. I like I that one. That's my brother, too. That's my brother. It's yeah. crazy. And, uh, speaking of fresh, like, you know, um, the first time I did a a, a big deal um, with um, uh, uh, Cash Money, what, with anybody, um, I did a deal with um, Baby, you know what I'm saying, with Cash Money. And it was a 50-song deal, the first of its kind. A 50 song deal? 50 deal? song song deal. That is insane. Yeah, but, well he did a 50 song deal because when he said he wanted to sign me, I was like, I was already signed. Right. But, but I was, but I was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just didn't want to be signed, you know what I mean? I just knew <laughs> knew what that felt like. And it, it, was, it was like, I mean, why we got to sign? I ain't going nowhere. Right, you said, I, I like that. And Jazzy, that's the thing. And just because from knowing you, knowing people that 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 do know you, uh, they all talk about how savvy you are in business. Mm -hmm. and, and talk about that. How did? Because especially because I want people to, that his producers is gonna watch this, artists is gonna watch this. Uh, how did you become savvy in business? Was it just a lot of, hey man, I learned trial and error, or or you kind of went in with knowledge already? Always intentionally putting myself in the room where I was not the smartest. Yep. Intentionally putting yourself in position to learn, to soak it up, to um, do the things that didn't necessarily make you happy or excited. You know what I'm saying? Those are, are probably the things that are gonna help you grow. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So give me like, and ask questions. I always ask questions about, you know, from people, you know, especially like like when we had, you know, panel discussions or anything, I would always ask, hey, what you do? What do, what do you do? What do you, I would read name tags at, at uh, <laughs> conventions and, oh, right. oh, you're the one who, did you promote this? To, oh, that's him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And I always, I just always wanted to know. I just, you know, I always ask questions. And I came from, you know, uh, my father, you know, who was a, who was a, a member of the Barcades, the original Barcades, the group, the Barcades. Um, they, um, well, he was like the leader of the group and he did all the business for the group. So I was kind of like on his hip. I was like right next to him all the time. Right, right. Uh, I, I know, I know they got some more questions, but I got to ask this. Especially, I want you to talk about because I, I hear it all the time, and then I say something, and people are like, "Y'all telling you, you just don't know." When I do know, I'm saying there's a misconception that people think that you can just have a nice beat, and you pretty much it, everything's gonna just fall into place. I it, it, talk about the the misconception of just having a cool beat, and then and and and, and being a hit record. That's not a hit record just because you got a cool beat. No, absolutely not. I mean, I think uh, you're even <clears throat> you're you're way closer to your mark if you got a great chorus, if you got a great song, if if you have something like a a, a hit song uh, uh, in 2020 ain't number 50 words. Mm. That's insane. Mm. Mm. That's 50 words. It's about 50 words. How many words you think? Justin Bieber got in, girl, you got that yum, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> baby, that's my baby. All of those songs, man, just th those songs that just uh, 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 into your head. You know what I mean? Um, when we talking about radio hits, but then you have the other ones that just have the passion and the validity uh, uh, subject matter. 
You know what I mean? Things are relatable. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Keith? What's up, Mike? You know what I'm saying? That, that, it, just, it just ghetto as hell. And it's like, I know they didn't say that on the record. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I won't say that stupid shit. <laughs> Every time it come on. If you notice, when, if you notice in the club, when you when you hear a hit song, what happens? All the people start moving. Yeah. Not necessarily like just dancing, but they start moving. You know why? Because they're trying to find their friends. Mm. Because they sing those songs together all the time. And they want to <laughs> sing the song together. Yeah. So you got a song to make people want to um socialize and want to talk and want to buy drinks and you know what I'm saying? Then, then you got something. Love it. Mm. Love you it. got something. The secret something. to the sauce. The secret to the sauce. Yeah. Kiki, what's yeah. up? Now, yeah. Jazzy, I know, um, so we got your battle out the way. We know who that, that good matchup would be. But I heard rumors of Dre battling Diddy. I got to get your take on this. Dr. Dre? Dr. Dre battling Diddy in the verses. Who you got? I think, that, I think that'll, be, that'll be great for the culture. Oh, my God. Yes. That's insane. Well, who That's insane. That's crazy. Who but you gotta it? ask the hard question, Jazzy. Yeah, who don't you dance, got, bro? Dance. Who you got? <laughs> who win it? <laughs> Compton? Okay. <laughs> Compton. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't play with me. <laughs> I mean, cause you know, I, I don't know if y'all know, but I mean, I, I, a lot of the time I was I was raised in California as well. Mm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. When I was five years old, I moved to California. Until I was about 17, and my mama couldn't handle me no more, and sent me back to Memphis in my last year of high school. <laughs> Man, so okay, you got the got the oh. in there. Yeah, I want to know what 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 young producers inspire you now. Now, yeah, uh, def definitely, definitely young young Leland, uh, um, my my little brother uh, Metro Boomin. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, uh, Jay White did it. That's like actually my mentee. Really? You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know how Jay White did okay. it? Yeah. He did, he did the Cardi B. He did the he did the lick. Then he did the Bodak Yellow. Then he did mm. the um the I like it like that. Ooh. A lot. Twenty one Savage. Savage. But, uh, yeah. Nah. Um. Megan. Yeah. Hey. Uh -huh. He's he, he a, he yeah. a little beast. Yeah. He my product. <laughs> That's my oh. product right there. So, uh, um, um, of course, uh, uh, some of the some of the others, um, Brian Michael Cox. You know, he's one of my mentees as well. Wow! Oh wow, that's crazy. He gets a hand on everybody. I taught I, I was, taught uh, Brian Michael Cox how how to how to um. Well, it was a collective effort. Me and Noon Time also, but he worked, worked really closely with me. My bad, y'all. Yeah, no, it's okay. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 he worked really closely with me, and um, I taught him how to really uh, how to sequence his records. Mm. That's dope. Oh. And That's you know, dope. I saw I, I went to college with um, with Key Wayne. He worked with um, I love Key Wayne. Big, yeah, yeah, Key Wayne. That that was I we went to college together. And uh, I was I was doing comedy skits back in the day, and he did my intro, and I remember him doing the beat in his dorm room in I like five the comedy skits, didn't it? Huh? Is that where I remember you from? The skits, yeah. <laughs> was you on Vine? I was on I was on YouTube when it first when YouTube was just doing this thing. And oh. um yeah, I I was doing those skits all on YouTube and Key Wayne did my little intro song. And I remember wow. him put I remember him putting it together so fast. So like how fast can you put together a record? Like he it was like he was like hey, what you want? And then he was just uh, he went into that mode. Put it like this, one, two step. One, two step took about seven minutes. What? See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Talk, seven, these producers, seven. they do this right in but front of you. Like, I mean, what? The, the, the actual moment of creating the beat is usually euphoria. Mm. It's not, it has nothing to do with space or time. Mm. It's, it's a, just a moment. You know what I'm saying? It usually mm. like, but I was listening to, I, I was like, we had goodies, right? Mm -hmm. Goodies uh -huh. was number one. Goodies was number one. And 
the only other record I had that really banged and gave you that thing and had a feature and it was just right was O. Ooh. And mm. the whole label up in New York was on some Luda. They was just all on his jock. It was they was on him. And, and, and it was like <laughs> We gotta, we gotta drop the loot at us. Go, go crazy. Like we go, we'll be, we'll be at two million. We'll be at two million. I said, but this is a dance artist, bro. Yeah. Like we have to get the. I gotta go faster. I don't want to go slow. I want right. to go faster. Then I'ma slow it down. Right. So I'm mm. like, it was, I didn't have a record yet. So I, I, I just went in my cubby hole, and I said, Missy, Miss. When Missy saw us in Miami, she said. When she saw CC, she, oh my God! I saw she said she had saw the goodies video and stuff. She was she was, I had a fan moment kind of. Wow! I don't think CC knew it because CC was also having a fan moment. Okay, that's right. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, so was I. You know what I'm saying? I just I just hear her at the gate like boom. I, I just hear something boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Coming at the um at, at the uh, uh at the gate of um uh uh the hit factory in Miami. So okay. it's a black gate, so you can't really see her. So the gate opens up, and you see this ninja green turtle uh, um, uh, Lamborghini pulling up. <laughs> and then this, then this little dude runs out with a sign, right? With a little sign, and, it, and he sits it down in the parking space, and it says Missy Elliott on it. Ooh. And she backs into that mobile. <laughs> boom. She <bumps laughs> boom, boom. She gets out. We didn't know who's in there, because the shit is blacked out in the front, all, all everything. She get out, man, about this tall. <laughs> she had on, and she was she she was in all her she was in full regalia. Uh -huh. she, she had everything going on. She hopped out and she looked. She was like, is that Jazzy Faye? I, I didn't even know she knew me. Mm. I was like, that's Jazzy Faye. I know you. And I mean, she said, hey. I said, see her? She, she walked right past me. Oh my God! God, I know you be dancing. She started moving, me. and she was like, "Oh!" They went off and did their thing, and I thought it wasn't nothing. Hmm. Our trip ended. I was like, she gave me the number. She's like, "Look, listen, what, whatever you need, whatever you need from me." So I'm fast forward. I'm listening. I'm in in my cubby hole. I'm listening to uh, uh, Planet Rock. Mm. Bam, 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 Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, what if I just take that one sound and just freak it? Damn, and I, took I it up, just dun, realized that dun, this. Dun, 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 dun. Then I took it up. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Man. And then I sent it to Missy. And I sent her like five other beats. Now, Missy's so cold. <laughs> Missy sent, she sent me back a whole mixtape. <laughs> all of the songs I made, she made the all four yeah. songs. She made all four songs into a mixtape, and it was continuous, <laughs> like kind of like a uh, uh, Roddy Rich album. It didn't stop. Right. So yeah. Like, so when you pop the CD in, it was like, "Yo, new shit, Sierra." <laughs> <laughs> Boom, then a the beat came on. And like the third one, that motherfucker said, bang, bang, bang. "I was like, oh shit." <laughs> like Whoa. as soon as she said Jazz had made it, I was like, "Oh, I'm gone. I'm, gone. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out of here. I said, I'm gone. Oh that triple, we we quadruple platinum now. <laughs> that that <laughs> thing sold five million copies, man. Woo! Woo. It broke all kind of records. Yeah. That, you guys had such a good moment. And, and, and you still getting those moments, Jazzy. Like, what, what you got going on now? I, or you just? Are you just chilling right now? It, no, it, man, no, ain't no chilling, baby. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, this this is not work to me, man. This is passion, man. I get it. Mm -hmm. This sense. is passion, man. We got. We still look, look. I got it. look. Look at my board over there. See the board? Okay. 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 Yeah, baby. Write it down. <laughs> y'all see, see my red ceilings, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like the red ceilings, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna have to copy that. I like that. I was looking the at red, that. Red like, inspires the soul, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, um, man, look, I, it's I'm working on Chris Brown right now. Okay. Um, mm. uh, nice. what else we working on? Doing stuff for Bruno Mars. Mm. Uh, me and Snoop got something going on. Um, uh, working on a new uh um um uh, oh, Good Gardens coming soon. My my brother um 
uh, Unc, he just got his um, license yesterday. We parted the three percent of people who got a weed license in the country. Okay. Wow. Yeah. wow. That right there. That, that's that. That's that generational that's money. Like to that. manufacture, to to do everything, to grow, all of that. That's all big. of that. Yes. Yeah, literally yesterday. The, he been working on this. He been this like this is my OG right here. This is like like who I talk to three four times a day, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, if you need, if you need a um a, t a tester, you know if you need anybody to just test it, make sure everything's got, good. Got you. We got you. I I pack you up. You you all good? Yeah, it's gonna I'll be send great. You the old boy uh strands. Who's it come? <laughs> yeah, just as soon as it comes, you need to test. Yeah. I, I, I'll you gonna hit it? it? You gonna be like, oh boy? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, and Jazzy, and Jazzy, and Jazzy, and Jazzy, you know, you know, there's a uh, there's a young lady that Esther Dean is 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 working with too. That's my daughter. So if you want to just throw some throw something that way too, we can go ahead. True. Man, come on. Hey, <laughs> Tom, man. It ain't, I mean, even it, with that, it's just a cherry on top. But even without it, man, we 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 had such a good time in the short time we kicked it, man. It was just like you was my brother, man. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, man. Good, Jazzy, always the good vibes. Uh, before we let you out of here, and, and we would like to do this as people, especially people that like a first ballot Hall of Famer in hip hop for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, we want to. What's a, a funny or a, a great story that you have? A, a hip hop story in from being in the business. Hip hop story. Uh, oh man, I had it in my head what I was gonna say. Oh, the way me and Pimp C met. What a way, mm -hmm. way me and Pimp. The way me I and Pimp, Pimp C. Story. Yeah, the way me and Pimp C actually. Um, we got cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can cuss on here, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say. I, I, yeah, but you know when I when I'm when I'm mimicking him, he always you know what I'm saying I like to say the shit the way he said it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, he said, um, okay, it was a chick, and um, I, I was talking to her, and she's from Tennessee, and you know what I'm saying, real fly chick, you know what I'm saying, she had this convertible, old school, like Cadillac, I think it was like, you remember them black Cadillac Elantes, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> convertible top, it was, it was right, old right. back then. See, she was cool <laughs> so, back then with that. Yeah, yeah, but it was clean, though. Know? It was super yeah. clean, and she would, you know, she would, she would motivate the town with that thing, you know what I'm saying? And she had that, she had a Benz. She had like, she was like one of my little things, you know what I mean? So I go to the old, you know, Patchworks, right? Mm -hmm. Patchwork Studios in Atlanta. Yeah. So, you know, the world renowned Patchworks, but but if there was an old Patchworks, there was an old building, you know, right down the street from the new building. So that, I'm just giving you the scene and set, you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay, go ahead, so, do um, Yeah, so, so I pulls up the Patchworks room, I'm pulling up. Range Rover, you know what I'm saying, clean, smelling <laughs> like it, looking like it, you know what I'm saying? So I come yeah. in, and he, you know, I'm just stopping by to holler at, you know, the homie, because he was like, stop by. Do we really just kind of getting to know each other and whatever? Mm. So I'm hearing the music bumping. He's obviously, he working for a client. He got a client in the, in the uh, room. It's summertime, you know what I'm saying? So I walk in, I'm, I'm coming down the hall. You can smell the weed. You know what I'm saying? You coming in. <laughs> so I go, I go in the room. They had like a weed room where you could smoke at because you could smoke in the control room. So you go in, there's all these dudes, you know, the, the entourage, you know, the whole thing. And he in there freestyling and shit. Don't freestyling. So he rapping. No, now mind you, when I pulled up, her car was outside. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, what that bitch doing at the studio <laughs> with Ben C? You know what I'm saying? So, okay, I, I'm like, all right. So I, I'm already expecting something. So I'm looking around, like before I go in there, and I was like, I know this bitch not in here with all these niggas because she ain't not that type. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And all that smoke, she definitely not that type. So I goes in there, boom. So she's obviously not in there. She's not in the building at all because the building's kind of small. So, um. Because I looked around a little bit more and kind of just, you know, because <laughs> I ain't wanted to be, I ain't, you know what I mean? wanted to be weird if, you know, I'm start yelling us and stupid shit like, you know, because I, I, I liked her. I really did. And um, right. I was trying to take it there with her. But but so I walked in. And he freestyling, right? So I'm like listening to him. Freestyling, he going crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm still a little like, okay, what's the hell going on? But I'm still playing. I'm keeping it playing. So um, 
<laughs> he, he like, yeah, Ben, what you fuck, what you think? Rocking his hot mates. He was talking about their relationship. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right. So, so you know, talk about how he moved. He he, he moved there in the house, kicked the other nigga out. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, you, you talk about me? <laughs> or she wasn't living with me, but you know what I'm saying? In retrospect, right. you know, I got your, I got your bitch now. So right. type shit. So he not knowing that the nigga is me. No. Now <laughs> my phone starts ringing. I'm late. We he was talking to me, man. Love me. You know what I'm saying? Jazzy, man. We I need to get you on. Da, 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 da. Man, we gotta do this. Da, 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 da. This is my nigga Jazzy. Da, 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 this and that. Listen to this. Listen to this. My phone kept ringing. I said, bro, I gotta go. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you up and then, then we're gonna get together. Let's just cut us out some time where we can get together and work. Bro, so I leave. Car still there. I'm like, maybe she might have slipped out. Damn, this nigga was driving her car. Jeez. So, so look, listen. So I love I, it. I'm gone. I'm going to get some money. So I kind of forgot about it. I kind of mm -hmm. forgot about it because you know, back then I was a player. I had, I had a lot of bras. I was like, I'll deal with that bra later. I ain't call her. I was gonna mm -hmm. call her later. So I'm I'm at the studio and um I get, I get, uh, I get this phone call. Man, Jazzy, man, what kind of nigga is you, man? What kind of nigga is you? So, Nick, my, my nigga came over here, told me, like, when he pulled up, hey, I thought Jazzy bro was outside. That's Jazzy bro car outside. Ooh. That's Jazzy bro car. He had pulled up after I did, after I left. Uh. One of my guys. Uh, that's, that's Jazzy bro, man. Da, 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 da. He said, man, you ain't tell me, man. You heard me talk about the bro, pumping the bro all up, man. Man, that's some fuck shit, man. Meet up with me tonight. Ooh, meet up with Whoa. me tonight. Oh, God. So yeah. uh, he, he hollered at the top of his lungs. So his 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 brother is, is Brother Hashim. Brother Hashim was like, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was you know, family is on and all of that. He was like the happy medium. He was like the one that kind of, yeah. you know, yeah. did it yeah. through so, so um, he called. He said, "Jazzy man, pimp, you know he really hurt, man. You know that you ain't you ain't talked to him, bro. And then you know about the bro. I was like, man, I didn't even know. I said, <laughs> I didn't know, bro. I left, and and you right. I should have said something to him. Pulled him to the side, but he was in his thing. The nigga had on a mink coat, and he had no shirt <laughs> on. He was just in there, just going crazy. Like, what the hell? You got a mink coat for in the summertime in the studio for? <laughs> he, just, he just he had a phone in his hand. He was going crazy. Yeah, so the whole pimp C thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I met him at the car wash the next day, mm -hmm. and I had one of my hitters with me, but I, I put him to the side so he, so he wouldn't be like, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So so um he pulls up and he jumps out the truck. You know, he looking around. I'm just like sitting amongst some other people. So I so I came towards him, and him and brother Hashim kind of came up. Hashim kind of kind of jumped in front of him a little bit. He's like, man, I thought that was some whole shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I said, man, look, man, hey, if 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 it's like that, bro, and the broad is with you, man, if she chose you, that's the game. That's the rules of the game. She's yours. This is my town, bro. Welcome, welcome to Atlanta, man. I was like, he was like, dog, he said, man, I, bro, I, I, like, I couldn't have ever thought that you was going to approach the situation like that, dog. I thought you were ready to fight. I'm like, ready to fight? I said, you the one ready to fight? <laughs> He's like, man, let's do some songs then, man. I was like, <laughs> that's how, so that's how me and Pimp C became like brothers. Oh my wow. God. Wow. That is oh a great, that's, that's a great story, Jack. That that's a great story. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's the number one story for the podcast right there. Yeah. That's, that's all we got yeah. so far. <laughs> Pimp C, man. He was he was emotional, man. Even when me and CC wasn't like you know talking, he was like, he said, "Man, what's going on with that bro, man? <laughs> <laughs> he got to get back with you, man. It ain't the same, man. That thing ain't ticking like it was, man." <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I just for I have to, Jazzy, I have to. You don't have to answer it, but I have to ask. What? I have to ask the elephant in the room. Do you think I, you think y'all will ever? get back together and do a project. It's kind of like how, how Jenna Jackson a, left. A project? I don't know. Some music? Yeah. Okay. okay. Me, me and Esther, hold on. 
Look at that. Look at that. So that's somebody trying to break up the comment. <laughs> Man, they ain't gonna do that. Hey, <laughs> look, me, me and me and Esther Dean already talked about it. Okay. We already talked about it. Shout um, out, it's it's a certain way it gotta be handled. Okay. Mm -hmm. It gotta be handled just right. You know how you know how when people get on that level of of success and, and, and all of that, it, it it just it does everybody different. It does everybody different. You're gonna get a different kind of conversation from Denzel Washington than you will from Kevin Hart. Mm. And not saying that either one of them is bad or good, it's just a different tone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna be a different tone. You feel me, Tone? <laughs> <laughs> I think hey, it's a little I'm muscle ready. for you too, Tone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, a different tone. <laughs> Set the tone. That's not my own. <laughs> I start brainstorming. I'll be on all kind of shit. Hey, bro. Hey, look, I just need a little public shit. I'm cool. Do what you gotta hey, do. Hey, hey. <laughs> that's the least I can do, man. Yeah, love that. Love that. Yeah, you was the inspiration. Shit, you get it. You, I, I could just take you to dinner at Houston's and meet you. Know, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> My dog. My dog, Jazzy, we really appreciate the time, man. Yeah, uh, do, I know man. you're a busy guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. man. It's, uh, man. Hey, man, it's a pleasure, bro. It's a pleasure, man. God is good. We here. We living. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I just want to want to make sure that we all embrace each other a little more. Uh, let's get on the line and, and call somebody that we've been meaning to call, that we've been hesitating to call, because yeah. tomorrow's not promised. And sometimes people just need, some, even people that got money, you know what I'm saying? Some people just need to hear our voices. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Facts. And let's That's give real. different too. Like they don't don't think about this year. Just let's think. Don't think about. Hey, I'm not gonna get him nothing because he got everything. Well, be creative. Right. Be creative. Go go find a whole bunch of pictures and put them together and send them to somebody and put some music to it or something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it, yeah. Some things just mean everything. Little mm -hmm. bitty things. Facts. That's real. Facts. Jazzy, man, our pleasure, man. Thank you very much for stopping by the pod. We we appreciate hey. you so much, man. Thank you. Oh boy. Hey, before you, well, before you, gentlemen, it's boys and girls. It's Jazzy Fenzel, Burgundy, Obama, Luther King, Junior Jackson, Friday first, Mr. <laughs> fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. <laughs> Friday, this thing, idiot.